Hello guys, welcome back to the web scraping using Python course. We've been scraping some stock market news from Economic Times and let's dive right into it and continue with our scraper. In this particular lesson, what we're going to do is just wrap up our whole scraper, define a function for it and be able to get all the information that we want from the news with just one line of code. All right, guys, let's do it. Now, this is what we have from the previous lesson, and I'm going to run this bit of code, see what we have as of now. And this should be pretty easy now since we already have most of the code. We're getting the top 10 news headings along with the description. And now I'm just going to quickly make two changes to this. One is going to be this hard coded number 10. Now I don't want only 10 articles. I want as many as I can get without having to do much work. So uh, this is what I'm going to fix for now. And uh, let's define a function for this right away. So I'm going to define the function and I'm going to call it define uh, get news and this does not need a parameter so it should be fine within this function name I'm going to copy actually cut this and paste it here so this for this bit of indenting what I need is control and close square brackets so that does the work and let me just quickly run this and this is how we call a function so okay get news and not def news so let's see what this gives us here it is so CB slaps 1.5 profile on motor industries all right Wow, okay, so see, these news are so important. Hmm. Now, guys, this is the whole COVID-19 period, and you can see US economy actually shrank in the last quarter. So this is 2020, uh, actually 29 fiscal last quarter. All right. So this, this, is, this was pretty quick. Now what we need to do is just introduce another variable called length and let's just give it zero for the time being and what we can do is we can calculate the length of this particular element so we'll know how many each stories we can fetch at once and once we have that all we need to do is while i is less than length all right this should work now i'm going to copy and paste this bit oh uh, so this is the p this is a all right all right so i want the length of this particular list right so this is what i need control c and control okay we i do not need to define length as zero if i'm just using this particular value here now len of this now let's see what the length actually gives me uh, so this is the best part about Jupyter Notebooks guys, Jupyter Notebook guys. You can just quickly check your code right away. So 16 is what I can get at once and this seems to work. So this is, this is good enough. Uh, actually let's, now, now that we know that it's 16, let's see what happens if we, if we define 17 here. So 16 articles means 0 to 15. Now if this runs and goes up to 16, there's to be a problem according to me, but let's see. So I ran this and I'm going to run get news. 
and this should throw an error if it does okay so this does oh yeah so it does throw an error yes list index is out of range in fact but the good part is that it does print the first 16 articles oh uh, okay so this reminds me that we are going to learn try an error to be able to to be able to avoid something that we already know is bound to happen so oh uh, this this looks good now instead of this hard coded 17 i'm going to write length here and i'm going to shift enter i do not need this bit of code so i'm going to just cross it off and i'm going to call get news so this should give me the answer and here you go so you get the top 16 articles from economic times and all you have to do is just call get news you can copy paste this whole function as it is guys what i'm going to do is also uh, attach this bit of code in the description and that's going to make it really helpful for you guys so let me know if you need anything else because stock analysis is actually a really broad concept and python is very essential in stock analysis so I, i'm going to wrap this up for now but there are a lot of other cool videos that you can check out thank you so much for watching this and do not forget to like and subscribe